Yeehaw, motherfucker. Welcome to another episode of High Noon. Got my co-host, Nicholas Sapaglia, of course. And first-time guest, Morgan Linewall, everybody. The Jew it's himself. Me, the Jew. Mazel tov, everybody. Oh, you didn't have it ready. Oh, I'll know. do it again. I'm uh, still learning. Tell me when you're ready. I'm still learning. first-time guest, the Jew himself, Morgan Linewall. Mazel tov. <laughs> Good young tov, yeah. Okay, thank you for having me on this fine day. What is this, a podcast? I, I love this kosher black cherry seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I had it, uh, I had it, uh, so to make something kosher, yep. it's just because some guy came through and blessed it, right? No. <laughs> no. Oh. Some guy, <laughs> no. a rabbi, a rabbi. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me treat y'all to this. Okay, so kosher is just a set of dietary rules when something is kosher that means they just they follow the rules the, the <laughs> rules whose rules god's rules, Jew okay? rules. and by the way the, by the way the god's rules okay yeah, just yeah. throwing it out there the god not a god okay the one so some of the rules include uh not the famous one is not mixing meat and dairy so you can have dairy in your life you can uh-huh. have meat but, but you can't have it in the same meal so you can't have a glass of milk with lasagna if there's meat in the lasagna. Well, who eats lasagna without meat? Italian vegans? You'll have to bleep that. Yeah. Oh, do we have to blur? We, can well, so can I say do, that? Because no, I'd love to say it. it. You can say it, but YouTube, they will pull shit for, oh, saying, yeah. for saying that now. Bless you. So <laughs> just do that. For Italian <laughs> vegan. Yeah. Hey, so yeah, yeah. our bleep, our beep is... Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. This guy rules. That, that is very Hey, sick. everybody, follow Nick Corey. Go to absurd, Slight racist follow undertones, absurd junk on Instagram. Slight this racist undertones for that, it. but that's okay. It's, it's slightly. Oh, just no, undertones, no. you know? No, no, no. We can say Jew all we want. You just can't say. No, I meant the whip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait. What if he, What if every time we say Jew, you get a whip? That would be sick. <laughs> yeah. Jew's derogatory now, okay? The, I think no. they, were, they were called lashings. That's what they Just were in called. general? When you get whipped, it was oh, a yeah, lashing. Yeah. But that, that makes Ten it sound, lashes. A lashes makes it sound like like a girl in like public school got you know private school got her little like wrist. I'm or, talking or about like, like I got full my, on like I got Kunta my, Kinte got my lashes whipped. done. Yeah, or I'm talking like full on Kunta Kinte. It's it's whips. it's Kunta Kinte. <laughs> okay, I really, you know what you know what it really is, Toby. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what it really is. <laughs> okay, all right, cut the pot, start it now. <laughs> We're fucking cooking now. We're cooking, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, know, we're, hey, we're cooking with gas. Is that a Jew thing? Ah, <laughs> uh, play it. That's not Jew. <laughs> but it's the God he's talking about. No, 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 no. That's that's Allah. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. Is that Allah? No, no, no. That was like that was like uh, no, that was a Sandy Country song for sure. That was, <laughs> this is Buddhism. very Sandy Country. <laughs> I guess um, technically the Jews come from a Sandy Country. The Jews don't come from Israel. Oh, that's where they just stopped. Is is this podcast gonna be me teaching you all about Jews? <laughs> well, so I so I have my go to Jew. Shout out Nat Rogachevsky. Mm, yeah, but maybe he didn't uh, inform me well enough. So what do you need? Uh, to so do? The, where are the Jews aren't from Israel? They're not from Israel. So they're from Germany. No, no, no. They're from. They got banned. They're, they're from. We'll call it Europe, mostly Eastern Europe. Poland. That's what, Sure, Poland, Austria, Hungary, I don't know, Russia sometimes. I mean, there's, they're, they're from that part of the world. Uh-huh. Israel was created in 1948. Israel is not... Now, the, the, the country of Israel was, was created in 1948. The land of Israel is, you know, ancient or whatever. Is Palestine. Is that why they're mad? So, oh man, we're going into Palestine real quick. I am not... <laughs> I'm going to say this is right a now, highly educational podcast. Today. I am an idiot. I'm a big dumb idiot. So and I don't you know even more know. Than and, I I'm, do. and I'm not inherently pro-Israel on this topic. So I don't even okay. need to assume that. But the general gist of it was that that land where Israel is is like crazy holy land for like everyone. The Muslims, the Jews, the Christians. It is like the hottest real estate in the religious market. In 1948 for whatever reason, Israel, after World War II, as a response to World War II, cre- they cre- we created Israel and said, hey, we need a place for Jews to feel safe, pretty much. That's why it was Because we didn't want them in New York, so they were like... <laughs> yeah, there's too many there's in too New many York. There's too many in New York, so, so we're going to give you desert. Israel. <laughs> and so they sent him to... Plane tickets were half off. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was a really good deal, so they would take it. <laughs> so, they would, um, so they went to Israel because, like, hey, we want to land for the Jews. Well, the problem is that they showed up and said, hey, Palestine and everyone else, get the fuck out. And okay. that's kind of what started... 
you know, the problems well, in Israel really, has been well, quite you know, oppressive to the Palestinian people. I kind of feel like the Palestinians ought to shut the fuck up and say thank you. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> First, folks, Mason is pro-Israel. No, it's like a, now. It's Wait, like, should you be pro-Israel or pro-Palestine? Let me say this. I That's your decision to make. I am oh. not a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're, you're just asking me. Yeah, yeah, pro-Israel. Pro As a Jew, are you pro-Israel or pro-Palestine? It is the most confusing political. The Palestinian-Israeli whatever war, whatever, is the most political confusing political topic like in the world. It is. Okay. There are so many layers to this. From what I know, I am Jewish. I've been to Israel. I enjoyed Israel, and I like many Israeli people. I don't know, but like I'm from big, what big I've heard, the they're pretty. They're pretty oppressive to the the pal. Oh, I think you meant. I think you meant impressive. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty impressive. The Jews are pretty impressive. Yeah, they're successful. People. They're pretty shitty to the Palestinians, and so I'm not diving in. I'm, I'm definitely not a hundred percent like go Israel and whatever, but I'm also not like anti-Israel. Like, I have friends who are, like, anti-Israel, so, and they're very against it. Is this, like, the exact same mirrored thing that's going on in Russia and Ukraine? Same in, thing? Not even uh, a little bit. I mean, I guess a little bit that it's a political... No, it's it's like... I, dude, you're asking me questions I don't know. I can tell you about... You didn't know I you can tell you were coming on an educational podcast. You know, what I, you know what I can tell you about? Corned beef, okay? Uh, I can tell you all wait. about kosher corned beef. Oh, okay. Oh, this all started with finding out how someone becomes kosher. Well, you don't become. You can. You can. Okay. You don't become. <laughs> you don't like become. By the way, oh, let me do one more quick thing about Israel before we back, get back to kosher. And this yeah. is the craziest podcast start ever. <laughs> do you know who was asked to be the first uh, prime minister of Israel? Stalin. No. You might know it. I forget, but I know they're an American. Very famous person. Donald Trump. No. no. This is like in 1948. Oh, uh, Ger- Goebbels. Okay, they wouldn't go to Joseph Goebbels and say, hey, you know what? Bygones be bygones. <laughs> uh, Albert Einstein. Ah, uh, he was a Jew, right? He was a Jew. Yeah. Albert Mary Einstein. Got- the- there you go. Now, this is the Albert Einstein theme song. I should have worn my own Mary- Mary- Married his cousin. Did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I first did. cousin. Yeah, dude. Hey, if she's hot. I watched the. Uh, I watched the. Uh, what's it called when they make a uh, when they make a, a, a show, but it's actors and it's not a documentary. A show. Dramatization. D- dramatization. Yeah. A show. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. A TV show. show? A a TV, drama. TV program. Yeah. Just a- <laughs> What do they call a TV show that's a TV show? <laughs> you saw you saw a drama dramatic of, of Albert Einstein, yeah, yeah, Mary and, and it was about him, like how they tried to like he was poor, <laughs> you know, he was poor, like his whole life, pretty much till as late in his life he was poor, really, yeah, fucking idiot, yeah, yeah. but he was smart, smarter than shit, dumb idiot, yeah, <laughs> dumb, <laughs> what he stupid ever Albert Einstein equals MC squared, who cares, yeah, that's gay equals MC MC <laughs> MC who cares. E equals M C. Who cares? Yeah, I'm not going to beat that. That's yeah. pretty good. Um, but yes, back to the kosher. So, like, one of the rules is that I think there's something with seafood. So, okay, we're back to kosher rules. I think there's something with seafood. I don't know if it's you can't have seafood or something. But there's something with seafood, like shellfish, like yeah. like um, like shrimp and stuff like that. Uh, and then the the one you're talking about with the blessing is yes, many meats to be kosher do need to be blessed. By a rabbi, and that makes it kosher. That would make that meat kosher. So and just also words? the preparation of the meat, the killing of has the cow, has the to whole be done process. by a Jew, that by a rabbi. Okay. The whole process of like from cow to corned beef sandwich is like a whole. <laughs> hey, the rabbi makes the ribeyes. Huh? Play it. Play a Jew song. Play something. <laughs> <laughs> Yabba dabba do. Yeah, okay. Your mom is now a Jew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's that was sick. Sound bites that was you guys, dude. <laughs> hey, they're all kosher. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, the whole process. All right, everybody, we're back to Jewish stuff. Everybody, shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> the um, uh, uh, the process of like how we kill the cow, how we store the meat, how we season the meat—it's all of a special process. And then at the end, it's blessed or something like that. Gotcha. So uh, cool. When I was a welder, uh, I was a welder for eleven years. You know that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was working in Boston, and one of the jobs I had, it was like a millwright company, and we went to this place that made like uh, detergents and like uh, dog food, a bunch of random shit that it all involved the same type of assembly line or whatever yeah. to process. And uh, one time we were working, and uh, a, uh, a rabbi came walking through. Whoa. Uh, had his fucking. Pay us. The swirls. Yep. The, the curly uh, hair and the outfit. Called and pay it us. was, dude, and it was like, it was probably like September, so it wasn't too hot. But he was in like a scarf. Oh, they're like the whole. Fuck, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. everything. They don't, 
They don't show much skin. It's now, in, they're in that now, outfit. Do, the do time. Jews have their own special deodorant? Wait, I gotta sneeze. Well, don't. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, don't sneeze into the. No, mic. you said I can burp into it. Yeah, you can burp into it. Do we have our special deodorant? Yeah. No. You thought the Jew was there to bless the deodorant? Hey, man, I think the Jew was there because he owned the factory. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. He was there to bless something. You think things. he was there to bless something? Yeah. Dude, I think that was... I think he was like, where's my money? Yeah, that, Fuck maybe, you, pay it me. Might, it might have been. Yeah, it Dude, been. so that's... You know, it's funny, like the mafia. Yes. That's Italians, right? Yeah. Damn you right. would think that there would have been a Jew mafia. Of course there's a Jewish mafia. <laughs> Do I have to now teach there's you about There's no the movies mur- about it. Murder, Inc. Didn't Do you, you hear Bugsy Kanye Siegel's? come out and talk about it? Who did? Kanye. Oh, came out and talked yeah, all about yeah, their yeah. mafia, yeah. their media mafia. And by the way, yeah. by the way, I'm fascinated with the Jews. I can tell. I love the Jews. I can tell. I, I want me to help you. I had, when I moved to Boston, I, you know, with Nat, that's when I met all these like Russian Jews. They mm. all were like from Newton, yeah, which is like right by a city, like a town. I live right in Boston. By. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Where'd you live in Boston? Downtown. I, I went to Emerson. Oh, yeah, that's downtown. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what, so did you, Emerson's the fancy, like the drama school, right? It's a journalist art school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I got, you know, they actually have a stand-up course now. Uh, one of my friends helped st- start that stand-up course. Is it garbage, or is it fine? It's a, uh, you know, I say right I now. wasn't there. <laughs> like, by class. the time it started, I was gone. Yeah, because you can't teach funny. Is it garbage? Yeah. I, I mean, if you're, I mean, can you learn something? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, what are they going to tell you though? Watch this special. Get on stage. Like, like right. Because really, every person in comedy finds their own route. If that whole course was like four thousand dollars, I'd be like, sweet, yeah, that's yeah. worth it. But if somebody is out there spending an entire college tuition on it, that's ridiculous. Right, that's like going to photography. Also, you live in Boston. Just go to Mike's Open in Boston. Mike, yeah. yeah, you're not living in the middle of nowhere. Right. right. Yeah. How long were you in Boston? Oh, I went there starting sophomore year of college and left halfway through junior year. So that's a year and a half. And what year was that? 2013 to 2014. Oh, we were there briefly together. Oh, we were. Yeah, were I, you moved, doing I moved there. No, I moved there in um, July of 2013. Oh, yeah, I would have been there only a little bit before you. Uh, but that was I didn't start stand up till 2018. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. same similar. But uh, yeah, I did you like same. Boston? I love Boston. Uh, I, so I think Boston, the city, is fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. The actual city is great. The, I live near Beacon Hill, not yep, on yep, Beacon Hill, but like nice near the Common with uh, the golden fucking Massachusetts State Capitol and the right. fucking North End, all the Italian food. The nice, uh, the nice area. It's yeah. fucking awesome. I went. Ooh. I transferred into the school, so like it was like harder to meet people. I lived in an apartment building, not in the dorms, make it even harder to meet people. And I had a girlfriend still across the country Oof. in Seattle. Oof. And so, like, I did meet people. I was in the theater department there. I was a theater kid there. Um, but did I? So did I, my experience. Hey, girlfriend, there was, wink, wink. Hey, 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 no, she was hot and she had a vagina. My girlfriend had <laughs> a big, huge vagina. Okay, big that's neighbor. how much of a woman she was. Um, wow, 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 he's very nice. <laughs> it was very nice, Borat. Thank you. Um, Borat yeah. was a Jew. No, he hated the Jews. Oh, that's right, right, right. Yeah. Do you remember his song, uh, the Throw set. the Jew Down the Well? Yeah. You know that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And dude. then he went into the uh, to the church in the second one. He's like, where, where are your horns? <laughs> <laughs> the temple, by the way, not the church. But that's Oh, nice. yeah, my bad. <laughs> We're teaching you. Uh, uh, um, synagogue is not a Jew thing either. Yeah, is, no, no, no. Oh, so you have temple and synagogue. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. I think synagogue is just a more like appropriate way to say it or something. But uh, yeah, same shit. So, um, did you ever? Were you when you were? So yeah, Boston, back, back, cool, to, back yeah. to the Jew stuff. Yeah, okay. why did they fake the Holocaust? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, so, reason number one. <laughs> so, uh, did you grow up doing practicing all? Did you have a bat mitzvah and all that? But so okay, I'm, I'm, See, I, love I, teaching I said it you. right. Bat mitzvah <laughs> is right, but that's the girls. If you're a guy, oh. it's a bar mitzvah. If you're a girl, it's a bat mitzvah. But being that women didn't really do that for like hundreds of years, the idea of a bat mitzvah is like very contemporary. Well, yeah, because don't they make them shave their heads and wear wigs? <laughs> Dude, you are retarded. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Have you never okay. seen the Leaving Orthodox? No, no, no. Or hold on, hold on. Netflix. Let me break it. Let me break down some stuff. <laughs> There are roughly, roughly three sections of Jews. There's three kinds of Jews you can be. <laughs> Normal Jew, weird Jew, Jew and weirder Jew. And, and, and then wealthy Jew. Uh. Number one at the lowest rung is the Reformed. Reformed are people like me. I'm Jewish, but I'm not like you running. Don't put, yeah. I'm not wearing the payas. I'm not wearing yarmulkes. I'm not, I go to temple maybe once in a while. You don't have the unbuttoned suspenders. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> a guy. That's Reformed. 
Then there, then you you go up to orthodox. Orthodox is when you start maybe seeing some payas. And the hat. At least a yarmulke, a yarmulke or a kippah. The hat. A yarmulke, kippah, okay. They're going to temple definitely once a week, maybe a little more. They're pre- they probably kosher. No they, electricity on Friday. Uh, uh, yeah, on the Sabbath. Shame yes, or correct. Shamus. Yes, Saturday, right? the Sabbath. Uh, Saturday, I think. Shame or Shamus. Yeah. Shame or something. What is that? Isn't that what they said in, in remember in uh, Big Lebowski and John Gibney goes, I don't roll on Shame or oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said Sat the Sabbath. Oh, he, Shame he, or Shamus. Oh, he did it in like a, he said it in Yiddish. Well, you should know, isn't it? Shame or Shamus? I don't fucking know. I don't sounds do. like your question. I'm not like, even said I was a good Jew. Sounds like your grandpa's name. That's old Shamer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shame or Shamus? That's <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, then, um, Orthodox and then Hasidic. So, yeah, the last step is Hasidic. That's what like Ari Shafir was doing in Israel. That's like, when they're like their job is to be Jewish. Like they are praying all day. They're wearing the black hats. They're wearing the black outfits. Yeah. That's like kind of the highest rung. What a waste of time. Yeah. What a, what a what a dumb group of people. <laughs> and by the way, that same can be said for fucking Bible thumpers too. What is a? Oh yeah, it's all. I mean yeah. You, you know, could, regular fucking re- like retards. actual like priests or whatever. Yeah. Like, I guess that would be the equivalent. Yeah. Cause at least Jews can have sex. Mm, oh, just with their. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh no, Hasids I don't think can. If, even if Actually, they're married? You know what I don't know? I don't a think they can get married. Views. I don't think they can get married. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but but the thing with the hair is that if you are orthodox and up, women, they don't have to shave their head. They don't have to. They can. But they have to cover their head and hair with a wig. They have to cover it from God. Okay. So, so I guess some people out there will God visit. doesn't like pretty women. Yeah, no, he didn't. Well, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't make them. They were created by man. I don't know. That was a weird thing to say. I didn't know. Um, it, or- it says orthodox uh, orthodox views tend to discourage premarital sex. In their views, only marital sex provides emotional, spiritual, and physical fulfillment for the sexual partners, produce children in a healthy Jewish environment, Ask and fortifies if- the Jew home anchoring. Or, the Jew home. That's what it's, or the Jewish home. <laughs> Anchor the Jewish people the Jew in the era of anchoring the Sabbath. Jew shack, baby Jew shack. Look up um, Hasidic's and sex. Yeah, I forgot that he's also here to look stuff up. Yeah, I forgot. How do you spell Hasidic? H A S S I D I C S. Oh, you just made that up. You pulled that out of your ass. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, Jewish words that you can uh, like spell different ways. Like Hanukkah, there's like actually like yeah. eight different ways to spell it. Hanukkah's got a silent J at the beginning, doesn't it? Silent C. <laughs> a silent J. I don't know why that's funny, silent but. J. The J is <laughs> like Django. It's Django and Chain. They were silent. They were silent in the forties. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's Django Gold Chain. Somebody should have really spoke up. Okay. It says it's frowned. Extramarital sex is frowned upon, even though it's legal. Meaning oh, it's but not marital sex. sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there are a lot of fuck. Oh, we are a lot of fuck. It says the uh, written well, Torah never explicitly forbids sex outside the context of marriage. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't. Know. I I guess that's different than priests and stuff. You learn priests, something new. Every priests day. don't get. That's why they fuck kids. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Nat knows more than me about this. Well, stuff. Nat actually is getting we're, we're, back, not to speak out of school here, I think everyone knows, Nat's getting back into the Jew stuff. Oh, is he? Just for funs and shits and Like giggles. he's just becoming more spiritual with it. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, then he definitely knows more. I'm pretty I'm Yeah, pretty he just low. wants to make more money. I, yeah, I, I, would, I would. This like, is an investment. I, I would get you both on, but it'd be too much. It'd be a lot. It'd be too Jews. many Jews yeah, in the we're room. We're loud. We're loud, yeah. obnoxious. Too Jews. many Jews on the pod. It's already that now. That needs a re- <laughs> nice. Wait, Nick. you're not a Jew. No, he no. just met me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> One too many. You know what that means? Kind of other. So. <laughs> is that supposed to be a, a World War Two thing? I thought, uh, was, I thought it was going to say boom, but, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, does it just say boom? Oh, <laughs> it just says boom. I thought it was going to go boom. Hey, by, by the way, read to it what it says for the... Da, 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 da. I know what it says. No, read it. I don't get it. It says Jew music. <laughs> <laughs> we have one All right, song. We, we can move on from No, no it's okay. Uh, you guys want to hear about when I went to Auschwitz? Yes. Oh. Yeah. You guys know Auschwitz? Yeah, it's where Anne Frank lived. Yeah. Was she? No. She was. No. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> yeah, she went to Auschwitz High. That was, wasn't yeah, that yeah. the summer camp that she went to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they went to a weekly summer camp in the woods. You know how, <laughs> yeah, she, you could say she lived there. You could say she lived there. You know how everybody pees in the shower? You're not allowed to do that there. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have much time. You're not allowed yeah, to do yeah, that. Well, I'm sure after, after that, you'll get banned instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after it's done, everyone shits themselves because uh, when you die, you poop. All right. Well, that's our time, guys. This has been the High Noon Podcast. <laughs>
<laughs> Auschwitz, uh, very sad. It was very, very sad. Um, so I, okay, so. Wait, you have to pay to go in it? So, this is the story. I, it's, it's, if you go, you go to Krakow, Poland, right? That's yeah. like kind of the, where you would stay, right? Krakow, hour. Poland? Have you never been to Krakow, Poland? Nuh-uh. I mean, not that you've been there, but like, you've never heard I of go it. go all the time. No. <laughs> I said it like, <laughs> have you never? I it's Krakow. Yeah, my family vacations my there. Place, yeah. <laughs> It's crack out. Uh, um, and so I walked to the hospital. I'm like, hey, like, what time do they open? Like, what, when do I go to? How do I get to there? They're like, here's the bus. And I'm like, oh, sick. And they're like, you have a ticket, right? And I was like, no, where do I get a ticket? They're like, oh, no, this shit gets booked up <laughs> like three months in advance. And I'm like, Auschwitz gets booked up three months in advance? Yeah, people are dying to get in. Play sound effect. You were in there. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Yeah, dude, which is crazy that like there's a like there's there's a wait list to get into Auschwitz, which the joke writes itself, which you already said, it, but whatever. So it, it was a wait list because they had to be underweight to get in, malnourished. Play him a bad one. Play him a bad yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> do, do the womp womp. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that nice. And so um, I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, that's a fucking bummer. I came all the way here, and like I'm not gonna be able to go. The guy standing next to me, just some guy, some British guy, was like, "Hey, mate, I'm gonna do his accent. Hey, 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 man, this what is really the bad. Fuck? <laughs> Hello, hey, <laughs> Hello. 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 And he said, dude, I'm going to be leaving. I- I'm not even going to be able to go. Do you want my ticket? I said, oh, shit. Like, fucking fuck yeah, man. Like, this was God talking to me. Like, he wanted me to go to Auschwitz. This guy just gave me his ticket. Yeah, like, that's, that's what Hitler thought, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when he handed out all those tickets. <laughs> yeah. So he gives, me the, uh, he gives me the ticket. And then, I, you know, the next day or whatever, I go on the bus there. And you pull up. And it's like, it's the saddest thing. I mean, you just see it. And you're like, you feel it. It's intense. <laughs> I walk into the, the main check-in lobby area or whatever. And I give him the ticket. And the woman looks at me because I had been talking to her for a second. She's like, are you Dutch? I said, no. She's like, do you speak Dutch? I'm like, no. She's like, you bought a Dutch tour. The guy, the oh. British guy, accidentally brought it, bought a touch Dutch tour. But and gave me, he didn't realize he made a mistake. Or and I he was did, like, and he's like, ah, I'm just going to buy it. I'm just going to fuck it with this does. guy. And so I was like, I don't speak Dutch at all. Like, And I was like, can I just walk around by myself? And they were like, yeah, do whatever. And so I just walked around Auschwitz. I, you're, just lucky you didn't, you're lucky someone didn't come out and snatch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, yeah. By yourself, you would be w- very worried that, like, especially I told being you. like a Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't need to pause before you said it. We've said it. We've said it at least eight to ten times already. Yeah. Like you looked at the cameras, like you didn't want it to be too loud. You're a fucking idiot. A um, Jew. Dude, I can hear you. You're in. The, <laughs> the no. Um, so yeah, I walked around and I went to the ovens. You know, I saw the ovens and the showers. Very small. I, I heard like, they had an easy bake for the midgets. Dude, him with the jokes. Was dude. it not as bad? Uh, not I mean, really just, bad, dude. Just, yeah, I mean, there you go. <laughs> An easy bake. <laughs> that was, that that earned that. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, um, yeah, I went in there and um, so the creepiest thing that happened was uh first of all wait, hold on before I get to creepy I saw three separate people taking like smiley photos selfies like smiley no. selfies and I would stare at them one of them I said like what are you doing did you really yeah one time what I was like did, what are they, you they, doing they didn't speak English so uh, yeah, they, were they, like, they just kind of were like and then I walked away but there was one point so the barracks are all like the different buildings where they were housed and shit and like offices where they would do whatever a row of them they have designated to different countries Experience through the Holocaust, right? Okay. So if you were Hungarian, you can go to the Hungarian one, you, and it's in Hungarian, obviously, and you can got to get a specific, uh, a specific um, idea of your country's involvement with all this. So I went, I went to a few of them. They're kind of like boring little museums or whatever. But one of them had no lights off. You could see from the front. By the way, it's like a rainy, shitty day, and it was the Hungarian one. It happened to be the Hungarian one. Where there was no lights on, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? The door was closed. Every other door was open. I open it. It's it's not locked. I open. And it's a, the, when you see it, it's a long hallway with rooms on the sides, right? And each room in the other ones had been a, a different exhibit or something. The lights were off, except for at the very end of the hallway, there was a projector screen playing some sort of black and white film. Imagine, Historical documents. Exactly. Imagine you are at a Auschwitz, 
in a, a rainy day. And you're Jewish. And you're Jewish. And you are at a barrack that the lights are off and there is a like a creepy projector at the end of the hallway. And, I, and there's nobody in the building at all. There's no, And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going in. And I start walking down. Most haunted experience that a person yeah. could ever do. <laughs> the rooms were empty. The little side rooms were completely were those, empty. Were they cells? Uh, those kinds of barracks would have been either cells or mostly like um, offices or like where they would do work. It was the storage units for the overflow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the, when the burning wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're just going to put them in cell block fucking... They, that, <laughs> those would be offices where they would like do all those experiments. Oh, like, like lobotomies the, and all shit. All that creepy yeah. shit they Trying were doing Trying to make people blue-eyed. So you're walking by and like, I mean, seeing all... Like, and you just feel it. I get to the end and there's a staircase upstairs. I go up the staircase and it's it's a whole, the whole upper level is just empty. No one's in there. It's dark. And I take a step and for, I don't know, effect, they made all the floors like grates, kind of like subway grates like in yeah. New York City. And it clinked and made a loud noise. Freaked me out. I ran out as fast as I could. Okay, Easy, yeah, what the fuck? Shit. Just by myself in a Nazi barrack. It was... Uh, and you could not see... Around you. <laughs> that would be that would be that would be the start of a very cool Jewish horror movie. <laughs> the Jew gets stuck in Auschwitz and everyone leaves and he's like, "Oh no, I'm back! Oh no!" So here's that actually and, seems like something that someone's probably made or would. Here's another funny thing. So I uh, I'm, I'm walking around. There's tours going on, and I and I go and I see an old woman giving a tour, or, or, or giving a talk, and she's standing in front of a big old mural of uh, like people walking. Was she speaking there. Dutch? <laughs> That's what I, that was the tour I missed. <laughs> And it turns out she was a, her name was uh, Eva something, and she was a child that was brought to Auschwitz. Oh, so she was there back when it was in its golden years. Ba- yeah, back when, at the, at the grand opening. <laughs> she was at the grand opening. Golden years, dude. <laughs> the golden years. Or with, I guess that was the dark days. <laughs> no, no, it was well, the now years. that place is barely making any money, so. Dude, what are you talking about? When was about? really the golden They're years? making so much money. Yeah. The merch game at Auschwitz. Oh, is, they have merch? Yeah, dude, you no. get the striped pajamas and yeah. shit. No, 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 you can't get the striped pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably get <laughs> 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 that. Dude, that'd be so so cool. I'd get uh, a pair. They have like a weight loss plan that you can buy, like a DVD. It's that's just a picture hilarious. of a guy with like no, like no, all they're looking, huge that's, cheekbones. That's where supermodels started. They're yeah, like, yeah, look, yeah. At the, look at the they went to on this guy. And so she's talking and she's this woman who she's, ever since she's been released, she comes back to Auschwitz every year to talk about like what happened to her and shit. And it was Eva, you can look, ah, she's just clout Eva chasing. Kaur, Eva Kaur, me. E-V-A, second name K-O-O-R, a K-O-R-R. Ha, she's crowd chasing. Give him a bad one. That was Did it? I'm typing. I said crowd chasing. He's doing, he's doing research Eva Moses here. Core. <laughs> Eve, yes. And so she gave the tour. I shook her hand. I said, wow, you know, so touching, whatever. And uh, I met what, I went <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, it, it was real sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. 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 I asked her out. She said, no, whatever. <laughs> and so it turns out, this is a real thing. You can see the date there. She died in the month of July. Does it say there her death? So that was her uh, ghost. July 4th on a America Day. And what year? In uh, 2019. Okay. I was at that camp July, was it 4th? Yeah. July 4th. I happened to go on July 4th, 2018. I went one year to the day. I met her one year to the day she died. Oh, wow. Which means she was on her yearly trip to Auschwitz. Wow. Which means Eva died in Auschwitz. Wow. Isn't that fucking crazy that yeah. she like she, she just couldn't she, she escaped. Had, she had, hey, talk about Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she escaped, <laughs> right? That's and insane, she went back yeah. and then and but besides that when she wasn't like in Auschwitz in July or whatever, she lived in Houghton, Indiana, which is like the middle of nowhere and I think yeah. it's crazy. She's probably the only Jew there. Oh, for mi- for like a state, yeah. not even miles, like entire states. Yeah. I think it's funny that she she like like left Auschwitz, the worst place that could ever be on the history of the planet and saw Houghton, Indiana and said Wow, a wow. paradise! Yeah, I must stay here forever. And like that's, I made her, I made her Jamaican in that. Uh, she I was just Jamaican. thinking, was she African now? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She married a black guy and just got really into. Hey, uh, that's wild. First is of that all, crazy. Uh, yeah, this is pretty so crazy. Do you, so before we move on from the from this uh, wonderful yeah. topic, lots of juice stuff. Uh, before we move on though, when they when everything ended, when like Hitler killed himself, <laughs> yeah, suppo- yeah. you know, allegedly, yeah. and it was all done in you know? the climax of the movie. When everything was done, yeah. World War Two is over. <laughs> yeah. Did they just open the gates and be like, "Okay, sorry about that"? Here well, no, the Americans opened the gates. Okay, so and then they yeah. were. Do like, you ever see Shutter Island? 
with Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio? Yeah, but a long, long, long time ago. Uh, uh, no, the Americans came in and, and um, not unified. Um, whatever, liberated. Liberated. Uh, liberated uh, uh, and just journey. and just turned everyone out. They they released them though physically. They, re- right? they did physically release them. I am sure they had some sort of program to like get them on a bus. And, like, yeah, right, right. They, they were they like, just, hey, they were like, we're not going to put you on a train. And it wasn't the Americans with well, the but, allies. But, but the we'll, allies. we'll do buses. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like, do you guys want to get the train? They're like, no, 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 no. no more trains. Uh, I dropped the can. That's yeah. all right. No yeah, more, I saw, no I saw more a documentary trains. where they were um, they were talking about how when the soldiers actually found the camps like that, they had to like. They let they opened them up and let and like got, they were freed and stuff, but like they couldn't feed them like because right their away. stomachs would explode. Their stom- they had, oh yeah, it'd be like, terrible. And then they had like and then at this specific camp, I don't remember which one it was, but they didn't have any way of like they just happened upon it, you know, like Damn. So it was just like oh oh. So then they had to wait and like that was actually common. In, yeah. So again, I'm not the expert here at all. We didn't know the concentrate the Holocaust was what happening was happening until soldiers were going through Germany looking for like German soldiers to kill or whatever or take over the land and they just happened upon us that, that's in Shutter Island is the, the okay, I'm gonna rewatch that it's a lot it's a lot more okay, than just the Holocaust but yeah, yeah that's a crazy movie <laughs> on Ketamine. but they just happened I mean could you imagine being a soldier and you're just like what the, what is this camp like, because obviously they probably yeah, thought it was they a, did, they didn't know they, they probably thought it was news. a military camp right, right. you know what I mean and, and then, then they found all these skinny uh, unfed people in there yeah. See, I called yeah. them people. <laughs> Very progressive of you. You're Very learning, bro. You. <laughs> so proud of you. The, the, what were you going to say? Uh, these, these fucking... I was going to say Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, now <laughs> I, I'm getting upgraded to people. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Pretty crazy. Uh, so, uh, because we were busy uh, dealing with uh, Pearl Harbor and our own problems. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. ignored it for a while, though. Right. <clears throat> oh, do you think we? they knew... Americans knew about this shit? There's no way they didn't know. Yeah, it depends. I don't know. There wasn't internet, though. So, it's like, how would they have known? Yeah. Anything happening in Germany, like... Because people used to send letters. Who were trying to send messages. Trying what? To people used to write letters. Yeah, but I, you don't think... <laughs> I, wonder, I bet they... used to send Hitler, long what enough. the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> FDR. <Yeah. laughs> Seriously, yeah. I heard some really crazy news. <laughs> yeah, wait, what the fuck, dude? Wait, hey, wait, What's this I hear about trains and chambers? Where are... Hey, like... <laughs> I heard you've been a real knucklehead over they're there. They're like, hey, where are all the Jews? And Hitler's like, I don't know. <laughs> they must have left. They all said they didn't like they, me. They said they wanted to leave. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, well, so there you go. Shit. So we got to the bottom. We maxed of out all my all, all my Jew knowledge. I, I'm not I'm not a great Jew. I didn't have a bar mitzvah. Oh, that's where it all started. I was asking you if you had one. Mm, no, I didn't have. So one. So you didn't have one. Okay. No. So Nat is more of a Jew than you because he sure. had one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, he have, was. Did you, you do this? Now? Did you guys celebrate? Well, did you celebrate Christmas growing up? Let me explain. Yes, Christmas. I did explain. Um, sorry, I did celebrate Christmas. My mother had like a terrible childhood. And so she loved the idea of Christmas. She's Jewish. She, she has loved- to be or you wouldn't count. That's a good... Wait, what? Only, you have to have a Jew mom or it doesn't count. Good point. Yeah, yeah, Good point, good point. Um, that stuff I always find weird. The whole Jew <laughs> thing. It's just like, it's half or whatever. Whatever. I'm Isn't not- it weird that you were made a Jew, but you can't make Jews? Yeah, can you can't. Jews. And, yeah, because and they're, 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 the never, they're never Jewish respect... <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll get them converted. Whatever. Um, well, see, I don't think that, <laughs> that the, other, the other Jewish people don't respect you if you're a conversion. What do you mean? Like, if I converted to be a Jew, people would be like, oh, you're not a real one. No, Could I, I go all the way to Hasidic? If, yeah. Right. No, I think people would be... I mean, I'm sure there's some idiot like, assholes out there who would, but I think most people would like be accepted. They'd be all right yeah, with if it? If anything, they're like, wow, this guy's really into it. Yeah, He's like, like jumping he, in. We were born into this bullshit. This my, guy my wanted uncle, it. My uncle married my aunt. My uncle's Jewish, and it's not. And at one point, she was like, I'm thinking about be, you know be converting and becoming Jewish. And he was like, why would you do that? What do you... What? Don't do that. <laughs> you know what? It, it's what? a headache. Shut up. No. <laughs> Now you yeah. become cheap. What? What was I saying before? Um, oh, Christmas. Yeah. So my mom always wanted to celebrate Christmas. So I did celebrate Christmas as a kid, but like not religiously. We just did the gifts and the tree and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, there was one thing before. Nick said something. You asked me a question. <laughs> before Christmas. Oh, the bar mitzvah. Technically, technically, I was bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah is obviously there's the event, right? There's like the party. And they lift the, you up in the chair. That's not, that's not, that's like the fun stuff. Technically, bar mitzvah is just a rabbi. You do a certain prayer and all of a sudden you're bar mitzvah. It's actually not that much. I was sitting at LAX Terminal 3. This is a few years ago. And a Hasidic guy walks up to me and he says, Sir, are you Jewish? I said, Yes. He can smell you. Yeah, he can smell me. Yeah. Well, I was, I, I, had, I was eating a cat's deli sandwich. I don't know. A full cat's deli sandwich and matzo ball soup. So I don't know uh-huh. if I gave it away, but. He walks up and he says, uh, you know, do you want to, uh, do you want to, have you been bar mitzvah? I said, actually, no. He's like, would you like to be bar mitzvah? I can bar mitzvah you right, right now. now. I have a video of it somewhere. Oh, and you were like, yeah. 
And I said, yeah. And so he said, stand up. And he gave, he did a, in front of people at Terminal 3, did my bar mitzvah. He said, repeat after me, this, that, and the other, this. And at the end, I mean, I want to find it when you, uh, it's in my archive somewhere. But um, he, yeah, I got bar mitzvah at LAX Terminal 3. And I called my mom. I was like, mom, you're not going to fucking believe it. I'm a man, you're, man. I'm a, I'm a fucking I'm a man. man. And how old were you? You were like 20. 22. Yeah. The craziest part about it was, you would think a, a, a Hasidic Jew takes a guy, he starts rapping with tefillin, which is like a Jewish thing but whatever it's like it's a spectacle right Mm -hmm. nobody fucking looked yeah well that's because people are so numb to craziness now in LA yeah well in LA like they're just like oh whatever like yeah probably a hidden camera show like oh god I hope they're not on my my flight yeah (laughs) god I hope they're not on my flight (laughs) yeah (laughs) like oh no those people here we go this is a video Uh, this is a real video of me in LAX are you ready this is me with the tefillin and the Jufro. You have a mom? No, see, that's tefillin. Hey, thank you. Is he, why is he bobbing up now? Because he's dancing. <laughs> he's, he's for celebrating. Hey. That, is my, that is my bar mitzvah. Awesome. From how many years ago was that? That was 2017. Did you feel uh, official? Did you feel more of a Jew than ever before? No, not at all. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> He didn't like, give you, my, like, my final card. form is finally complete. Yeah, 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 it did happen. Yeah, yeah, Just my Jufro gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. My fucking chest hair just, just grows up. Yeah, no. He's like, here's your card. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, now... I'm, you, I'm definitely an unconventional now, Jew. Now you can smell other Jews the way yeah, you yeah, smelled yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, my nose just starts... Yeah. Oh, my wallet awesome. just triples in size. Eight, Where, eight, 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 um, now, now you have a two-inch thick debit card? Yeah, yeah. I got added to, I got added to a group chat. It was like, Morgan, welcome. Like, what do you want? And I was like, rain. And they were like, sweet. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, uh, so where did you grow up? I grew up, uh, I was born on Long Island. Very, very Jewish place. But very quickly moved to Southern California. Okay. So I'm I'm from the suburbs of Los Angeles. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So is there a big Jew community out there? Uh, There is. In my suburb, yeah, I would say there's plenty of Jews. Jewish. (laughs) Jewish. Dude, you are so... That was funny, dude. You're so funny. Um, Ish. You're funny. Ish. Ish. Yeah. Um, but I actually, uh, my junior year, transferred to the local Christian school. Uh, you, to play it was football. his junior year. Did you get it? Mm. Did you dude, you guys are just nice. so <laughs> full of jokes, dude. I would like to think that you guys spent hours coming up with these and that this conversation, you've just been baiting me to say things that set you up. For like, oh, you, what year did you go to high school? Junior year? Oh, kind of like, <laughs> you hear how he said junior year? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Can I have this or is this... Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's, none, there's more? Oh, I should have brought more over. <laughs> but yeah, I transferred to the Christian school to play football. Uh, we were a very good football. It was a very good football team. It was like one of the top teams in the country. And I was playing at the local public school. And, I was and like, you hey, had yeah. to claim to be Catholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they put me in Christian class. I, I went to Bible class, Bible study. Okay, so yeah. you're well-rounded in all of uh, religions. I guess so. Everyone made fun of me for being Jewish, for sure. Okay. The first, like, few months, it was like... What I mean, were some you, of the things they called you? Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it playing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was... Like, you had band class, they just started... You can play this, and they just a Seinfeld yeah. theme. Uh, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, dude. You can't use the th- you can't use the Seinfeld theme for a non-Jewish guest now. You can only use it for Jews. Oh, I think I downloaded that uh, for for the the Jewish. Uh, this yeah. just says yes. Jew show theme song. <laughs> no, <laughs> play it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about that song? It is. So Jewish sounding. There is yeah. something. It's very. It's very. I don't know uh, why. Jew it's York. just a bass. I mean, it's New very York. Jew York. Yeah, it has, <laughs> it's it's very it's very Jewish. Um, hey, uh, do you think uh, is Michael Richards a Jew? No. Okay. Look that shit up. Yeah, yeah. Just, give it a goo. So Jason, do you know what Jason Alexander's real name is? Uh, uh-uh. uh. Is he a Jew? He is very Jewish. His real name is J Greenspan. And he Greenspan. Came, Greenspan. And he, uh, he, uh, uh, what happened was when you, when you become an actor and you get like in the union or whatever, you have to like pick a name. Usually you can just use your name. But let's say if you did it. Stage and, name. Yeah. Well, you could just say like Mason Smith. But if somebody's already Mason Smith, you would have to choose. You could do Mason. That's why there's Michael B. Jordan. You nailed it. There's all, like, that, that's why. 
Um, also, that just would be confusing for people to be like, that guy's name is yeah, Michael Jordan. Right, right. Um, but he went and Jay Greenspan was taken. And he went through like three, <laughs> Get out of town. Yeah. There was like three or four other ones. And he ended up with Jason, not Jay, but Jason Alexander. Hmm. He's and, super uh, crazy. And you know, uh, Andrew Dice Clay, his name is like... Yeah, he's Andrew just something. something. Yeah. But Andrew Dice Clay, that's not his official stage. Like, that's not that's not his official stage name. Dice Clay is, that's right? That's not... No, no, no. That's not... Andrew Dice Clay is a character he plays. Ugh. That's not written like at the Actors Guild. But his specials uh, that come out are under Dice Clay, right? <gasps> like, like the Andrew Dice Clay live at. That's his stage. I wa- name. It's a yeah. stage name, but I wonder how official it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, I don't know. Well, like, I bet years. his checks say Silverstein or whatever you said. Oh yeah, yeah, that would yeah. that make sense. But uh, but I know it's a character. But I thought that that was like the name that he went by for movies and shit he, too. Yeah, there's a way yes th- that is true but I'm saying like is it written like at the you know actors guild under official paper right or, or it doesn't know. say Andrew yeah, Silverstein yeah, yeah. he's Andrew Dice Clay no but hey, you can he can write anything <laughs> okay that, that's official yeah yeah hey, if it's on let's that. chip in and I'll get an Andrew Dice Clay cameo that <laughs> would be uh, sick would you, have you ever paid for a cameo Mm-mm. would you pay for a cameo tell how much 20 bucks to get oh. to get uh no on 20? No, of course I would. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, but who, though? Well, he's I don't, like, he's I don't like, know. How about 18? I think, that's, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that for 20 bucks, you could maybe get, like, Mike the Situation from Jersey Shore. <laughs> I think you could do better than that. <laughs> who yeah, would I you want? You could get Snooki. <sighs> Snooki would be... I'd do $20 for Snooki. Yeah. Who, I wonder, can you Google... Uh, I want to see who the, who, who, see who the cameos who are. Who on Cameo get is $20? What, what's the cheapest celebrity you can get on Cameo? That would be awesome. Some stupid ones on there. It's going to be like, uh, what's the, what's that bitch that killed uh, Kurt Cobain? Courtney, Courtney Love. Love yeah. Courtney Love, you can get more than $20. You think she could? She could get way more than $25. $20. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you're underestimating how famous Courtney Love is. Maybe, maybe. She's pretty damn famous. What about, uh, who would be a $20? Uh, oh, Tom Sizemore. I bet he's 20 I know the bucks. name, but what is he again? Uh, he was like in Point Break. He was always in, he was in Brother, uh, what's the What's the movie, where, the Long Army movie, where they're trying to find Tom, Tom, Tom Hanks. Tom Jason, Jason, Jason Alexander's cameo is 750 bucks. Oh, that's insane. For and by one, the way, he is Jewish. Yeah. He's of Jewish one descent. Cameo. Uh, one cameo is $750. What, what, what's the Tom? What's the what's Tom Hanks movie? Brother Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Who Tom Arnold? How much is Tom Arnold? He can't be more I don't than hundred. I'm looking. I haven't you're searched You're underestimating anybody. how much money these people have, and that they don't need to do it for anything less than whatever crazy number. Right. Do you know how wealthy Jason Alexander got off of Seinfeld? Just the uh, like residuals alone. Do you know who the richest actor of all time is? Jerry Seinfeld. He's the richest actor of all time. Cause just because of all the uh, the contracts and paperwork. Well, because he also owned the show. And oh, like him a, and Larry David. Yeah, yeah him, they, he also um, had producer And they credits. keep selling it to like, so they sold it to Netflix yeah. for a period of time. He's and they the, sold he's, it to Hulu for a period of time. Now, now yeah, they're licensing it. Now get yeah. this. This is actually super random. Who is the, the, the richest actor, including all money, not just from acting, but maybe including like, you know, investments? Uh, Johnny or, Depp? No. <clears throat> so this is like under $100. Um, all the Wait, what's the answer to that? It's actually Elaine. Elaine's because she wasn't a Jew. Her father was a like billionaire oil tycoon guy, energy tycoon guy, and she got most of it. She's worth three billion dollars. Oh, so Elaine she is a want, billionaire. So she didn't want the uh, the pay. No, no, no. She took the pay. She has. <laughs> yeah, she took the pay. She made. She's worth herself hundreds of millions of dollars off of all the shows oh, she's done. Oh, okay, okay. But she then inherited like two billion dollars okay. from her father. Isn't that okay. crazy. Yeah, it is yeah. wild. Hey, but also, you know that uh, the richest woman in, in, a, in the in the world uh, inherited it. Oh, Mackenzie Bezos. Sure, is that the winner? Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, you just met you. You're, you're whoever it was. Like all women. They inherited it. <laughs> the richest self-made woman is like probably Oprah. Uh, is it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oprah's it's, sick. Uh, so who are the Go under, women? Who are the under hundred under hundred dollar ones? Um. So I'm going through looking at it. You can get like Roy Woods. Uh, Roy Woods is Judy, the comedian? Um, the comedian? He's like one of my favorite comedians. No, it's... Uh, oh, I'm talking... Oh, I hope I've been talking... No, it's, it's the thing. other Roy Woods. Have I been talking well into the thing? Yeah, oh, we'll yeah it sounds good. Uh, baseball players, people I don't know. Is that is that uh, Epstein? No. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. Dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> he does it from, a, from, his, from Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. A lot of a lot of wrestlers. I like can get Kurt Angle, um, 
Michael Ian Black for 85. Oh, wow, that's cheap. He must be doing on hard times. Bam Margera for 100. <laughs> Ooh, that one's sad. Bam yeah. Margera for a hundred. Bam for a hundred. Yeah. I'd do that, that, that makes just me to help sad. him out. <laughs> that makes me very sad. Because he's not doing well. <laughs> How much money did that guy make when he was like at his prime? Because he had companies. I watched a fan-made documentary about him, and dude, he was like killing it as a teenager yeah. with those skate videos and CKY and shit. Oh yeah, dude, that's he, insane. He, he wasn't just in Jackass, and he had his own shows. Yeah, he was, was big a, before Jackass. He had a whole brand. Yeah, worth like hundreds of millions of dollars. Dude, that guy. Yeah, and it was all through VHS sad. sales. Oh, yeah, VHS CKY, and DVD. Can't, can't, can't kill, kill yourself. yourself. Yeah, and his brother was the drummer for the band CKY too. Mm. There ain't nobody else really all that special on here. I don't feel like. Yeah, Michael Ian Who's Black. Who's the most expensive? Oh, wow. That's probably like Brad Pitt or something. Well, there's nobody like Brad Pitt Let's on do it. The highest. Brad Pitt wouldn't do it, yeah. yeah. Why would you? Why would you? Woody yeah. Harrelson's probably on there. I bet he's expensive. Let's just do comedy. Oh, you can look at just specifics. All right, here we go. There's I just want to see the most expensive cameo. Dude, I wonder who that would be. Um, most expensive. Hey, look, there's Carlton. Oh, I'm sure he's yeah. a lot. Alfonso Riviera. Yeah. 250. Was he a comic? 225. I don't think so. No. We gotta we gotta figure out a way to make that fucking come up on the TV. That's not that hard at all. You just get an HDMI. Some, some sort of magical cord. <laughs> <laughs> you just pray real hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You pray to Jewish God. That's how you do it. Yeah, oh, yeah. He'll do it for you. Do Floyd it. Mayweather uh, has the most expensive cameo. Floyd. Oh. What is that? A few thousand. Uh, and, and I bet his is like super short because he can't read. So he just like someone has to tell him like you're gonna uh, say this, man. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, let's see the most expensive but, uh, cam- the most expensive cameos you can buy. Floyd Mayweather. What's the number? Yeah. Oh yeah. How much? Yeah. Fifteen thousand. We're talking. Number. Uh, we're talking numbers. Uh, Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. How many has he ever had sold? One. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking sure on a different website at this point. I wonder if I bet he's only sold a couple. Because that's got to be some other rich guy that goes, this will be funny. Floyd Mayweather, yeah, 15 like, grand? Some like Caitlyn Jenner is next in line at 2,500. Oh, oh well, so big Floyd's, drop. Like, big Floyd's drop. like really uh, ahead in the... <clears throat> that's a big drop off. I wouldn't that. be surprised uh, Gurdip Pender. Who? Two, uh, musical Bo- artist and dancer. Bollywood guy. Bollywood guy. It's, uh, his is 2,000. You would know that. I mean, listen to his name. Uh, what Boozy, was his name again? Boozy Badass. Oh, no. This guy's Boozy Badass. Boozy 15, Badass. Uh, 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 hey, help 15, him out. Another, that's another Bollywood guy. Hell yeah. I bet he says I'm Boozy, Boozy Badass. Boozy is a Bollywood guy, right? He's another Bollywood yes. guy? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Okay. Wonderful at uh, 1500. <laughs> He's actually a drunk guy with a bad attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabby Boozy Douglas badass. at 975 for number six. Richard Dreyfus for uh, oh, he six ninety nine. He's what? No one's paying that. No one's doing that. Richard uh, Dreyfus. Shocker Khan for six fifty. That's pretty sick. Cool. Uh, Jojo Siwa. Yeah, the kid. Six hundred. You're up on pop culture, huh? I know my stuff pretty well, yeah. actually. I do. I Bethany don't know Frankel, how, but I do. Three fifty. Who's Who's Frankel. the newest? All right, well, oh, I don't yeah. care anymore yeah. about these. I fucking, think she's one of the these fucking. People. I think Bethany Frankel is the one of the. Hey, who's Who's the most popular? Who's the new Hannah Montana right now? <laughs> like like a young kid pop yeah. star. Do Do we have a new Bieber coming up? Is there a new Bieber? I don't know. No. Yeah, I don't BTS think so. Like the last thing BTS, though, is different. Like, yeah. That's like for every... This is like... You're talking about specifically like a very young audience. Is BTS... Is JoJo that's... Siwa would have been, but I think she's outdated now. Okay. I feel like it's like that fucking... Who's the... Cli- the who's the, the climate chick? I feel like they're more into oh, those Jessa, activists. Oh, uh, Veda... No, Veda no, Gim- no, uh, no, no, uh, Greta Thurnberg. Greta Thurnberg, okay. dude. I, I you were going to say Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> 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 dude, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has it with the kids now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was funny as shit. Uh, hey, well, she wasn't a Jew, though. That sounds like a Jew. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is totally a Jew. I thought it was a black lady. Ruth? You thought Ruth Bader Ginsburg was black? <laughs> RBG. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> RBG, dude. <laughs> Uh, Dude, I don't know. Any, I don't watch news. Notorious I B.I.G., Notorious R.B.G. No, notorious J.E.W. Mm, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. uh, if I was a Jewish person, I would want to get married just for the wedding because it's they have such a fun... I've, I've yeah, but the, you did that... In- 
already. No, the I didn't have a Jew wedding. No, but you still got married. But I didn't get to be lifted up in a chair. You could have just done that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could. You missed out on that. That's not like only Jew. Like it's you, not. You, you know, probably no, no, would have no, no, put it, the chair down. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the only difference would have been like this music, <laughs> but at your wedding he was probably playing like uh, Little Wayner from the from the windows to the walls or something. No, no, there. we actually uh, we hired a White DJ trash and we were like, you pick, and oh, he, he yeah. did a good job. So yeah, he would have been like, where from did the you windows? get married? Uh, what? what? Where did where you go? Massachusetts. Oh, Boston area? Uh, no, it was uh, out near the Catskills, mm. Western Mass. You know about the Catskills, right? It's comedy, big comedy thing yeah. with the well, Jews out there. The Jews. So the yeah. Catskills is like a very famous, like old Jewish, right? L- Laudville or vaudeville and shit. Vaudeville, right? vaudeville is much older thing? than Catskills. Oh, okay. Vaudeville's a whole separate thing. There might have been vaudeville acts that made their way to the Catskills. Okay. But Catskills were this region of mountains and hotels and right. shit. Obviously, you know about it. But um, it was famous for its like old timey comedians. Like that's where Henny Youngman and shit would go, and that's where Marvelous Miss Maisel starts. Right, right. That's like right. that that era was started there, and it was all Jews, and it, like that's where Jewish families would go for, uh, um, what's it called? I for, mean, if you um, can't have vacation. a sense of humor after World War Two, I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know what. You're gonna do. And they yeah, they're How like many different. Holocaust jokes you think are made there. Probably, Probably not a lot. They, I feel like that would have been a little offensive like five years after it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there's there's one comic. Some, some, the, the comedian's like, what, too soon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like from what I know, like I wish I knew more about the Catskills because it does interest me, but there's levels. There's like the really expensive hotels where all the, the wealthy families would go, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Not a lot of Jews in, the, in, in New York are that wealthy. There are wealthy families, but like, there's a lot of Jews, like, like immigrant well, Jews. Right like, there in Brooklyn. Parts of Brooklyn, parts of the Bronx. They went to Long Island eventually. Like my family, both both my mom and dad grew up in Long Island, not in poverty, but yeah. like not well middle off. class. Yeah, maybe slightly less. I mean, like they, yeah, there wasn't a lot of money um, in a lot of those, you know, a lot of those families. Gotcha, because it was all in the walls. Yeah, yeah, we put it. We put the cash under the mattresses yeah. and in the walls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't trust the banks until we bought the banks. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. But now they're ours. So we're good. You guys um, want some money, by the way? Yeah. yeah, just handing it out. Yeah. I keep I keep hundreds on me all the time. Yes, is this is this good shot? Is this looking yeah, shot? Yeah, yeah. So this is my brand. Yeah. Talk about Jews marketing. Yeah, fucking Broken Zoo. Check it out, Broken Zoo on yeah. fucking Instagram for all the shows. Okay. Aviator Nation still going strong. This Friday, any dates? On, oh, this Friday. This Friday, yeah. November fourth at Aviator Nation Austin. We have the hottest comedy show this side of the Mississippi. Fuck and we're, yeah. And we're and back then, at the uh, Vulcan Gas Company on November 25th. Sick. I was going to say, did you get another date for that? Oh, yeah, yet? November 25th. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool, isn't it, Bill? Leave it to the Jewish comedian to, like, build the brand. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, no, I, I mean, just it's just fucking standard. awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. Very Lucas cool. McCrary made this. I did, I did, Drew, I did the first isn't one he a at good Vulcan. Guy? Yeah. This was at Vulcan, where Mason I. Mason was on this show. I did yeah. that. Very Break fun. The cage, we call it. All right. Um, are you guys, are you gonna get any uh, special drop-ins at the Aviator Nation one? Or did that Bill just Dawes work out? Bill Dawes is headlining. Oh, cool! He's, he's a funny, funny guy. Bill Dawes is a funny guy. Does a lot of acting. Yeah, he's a big actor guy. Yeah. He was on Broadway twice. Wow! I don't know him. I haven't met him yet. He's but very like, nice, dude. He's a he's a brown belt in jujitsu. He's been on he Broadway. rollerblades for some reason Doesn't around really. town. Yeah. That's okay. That's, I didn't expect that. He's yeah. like great cardio. He's that, that made me that made me take a step back. But then I was like, he's funny and he's nice. He's a three time. He's been on Broadway three times. And I used to do cool. theater shit. I used to live in New York trying to be on Broadway, so that impresses me a lot. Though. Yeah, that is cool. He was he he played uh, Paul Horning in the Vince Lombardi musical. They're play play not musical. Yeah, but I I love that. Do you know you know you know the Packers and Vince Lombardi? Are you football? Are you not a football? Oh, player? oh, the oh, the movie. Uh, Mark Mark no. uh, Mark Wahlberg played him. Uh, no, he no. goes out for tryouts. He's a walk on, right? No, that's fucking the one of the Eagles. Yeah. No, no, no. Vince Lombardi. No. Do you not know who Vince Lombardi is, dude? Mark Wahlberg. Vince Lombardi is not Mark Wahlberg. What's that movie then? It's a, pl- dude. Do you know who Vince Lombardi is? Isn't he the walk on? Are you? I don't like sports. Play the whip when I say. <laughs> Like sp- uh, sp- sports. You're not a sports guy. No. Vince Lombardi was the head coach of the Green Bay Packers, and they did a play on him. Whatever, dude. You don't fuck. What did he sports. do that was so cool? Did he win a Super Bowl? Like the Tom Super Brady? Bowl trophy is did called get- the Vince Lombardi <laughs> Trophy. Oh, yeah, he dipped in. <laughs> he won the first one, and they named it after him. Oh, so he invented the Super you Bowl. You fucking Jew. <laughs> now it's on you. You see, how I did that. We made full circle. Hey, this Vince Lombardi sounds like a real asshole. He probably was. I don't know. I bet he fucking didn't let anybody Jewish on the team. 
He's mad that no one's throwing the ball for him. No, that's okay. Uh, is Vince Lombardi a Jew? No, he's Italian. Ah, the old, the old. Uh, Talk to this guy. This little the tan, guy. the tan Jews. Yeah, yeah. Happy Halloween, guys. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Halloween. Thanks for you dressing look great. up. Oh, look at him. Thanks. Look at him. Come here. You want to sit up yeah, here? Get Bill in here. Come here. Get fucking Bill up here. So, Come here, Bill. So you want to join the pod? Come here. Joining us for the second time. He's joined us last week too. Yeah. Woo shit. Here we go with Bill. All right, Bill, Bill, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful big boy. Look at your big penis. You got a big <laughs> you showing cock. your little wiener? Get a big old cock you're on you, Bill. Oh, it's wiener. hard now. He's getting Uh-oh. excited. Uh-oh. Here. You gotta blur that out. Yeah, start. Put the can put the can. Well, put the broken zoo over his dick. Hold on. Broken zoo. Come in this <laughs> this is the way. Hold on. I need How's to that, Bill? Hold on, I'm taking a pic of this myself. Hold on. Alright, this is good podcasting. Oh yeah. Say hi, Bill. Oh, Bill yeah. Hicks. Fuck yeah, dude. This is great for podcasting. Bill Hicks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least it's being filmed now. We were doing stuff like this without cameras. That's true. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah, give me that. All right. Well, um, but hell yeah. So, um, for me. so uh, let's see. All right. Let's, we'll try to, we'll try to get some yeah. no, non-Jew talk in here. No, that's okay. Um, do you have a dog? Uh, no, I did. When, when I lived with my now ex-girlfriend, uh, the dog died. Very sad. Oh, I thought you were going to say she kept it. Uh, well, then, then we got another dog <laughs> and I had it for two weeks and then I, we broke up and she kept the dog. I got you. So she yeah. did end up keeping a dog, but I was really only with it for like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. felt like a bad dad. It's like, I got the dog and I'm like, I'm out. This what is kind too of, much. Well, what kind of dog was it? It was like a German mix of some kind. So a big regular dog. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, puppy. if it was like a pocket dog, then like, eh. Yeah, no, no, no. The, I feel like those dogs don't like love you. It was like a big, it was a big German. A big Whereas German Bill... Mix. Bill. Bill just loves everybody. Bill, you're a very beautiful doggo. You're a beautiful boy. It's funny, he's just chilling. Just chilling, huh? That is very cute. Alright, here it is, folks. Doing a segment. It's Jail Tales. Jail Tales. Jail Tales, everybody. They made this song a surprisingly like a Rastafari. Yeah, it is a pretty banging song. Alright, guys, so we're doing Jail Tales. So, Morgan, you ever been arrested? I've not been arrested. Had but, any close um, encounters? So the closest thing I had, we were t- we were br- I briefly brought this up before, and I'll give you the whole story now. But um, I was in uh, Budapest, and if you, you can see his shirt, if you do want to take your sweater off there for a second, Nick, or just show it, or did you already move it? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, what? You just what show happened? Him the shirt. Oh, that's what inspired all this. So that's a picture. A map of New York City subway. No, it's a map of the Budapest <laughs> Hungary subway. Yes. Yeah. You are so dumb. <laughs> the Budapest Hungary subway, and I was in Budapest on the subway. And uh, in like, let's say for example, like in New York, you have a metro card, and it's like a turnstile. You can't really get on the train without going through the turnstile, so right. you know that you just pay it. Well, for whatever reason, at the Budapest one, you just can kind of walk on the train, and I guess the payment, <laughs> they love when you walk. They on the love, train. and I and I wa- I volunteer to go on the train. <laughs> yeah, you can just walk on it. I guess you get the the ticket like while you're on it. I had no idea. I thought the subways were free. I'm like, oh, this is sick. Like there you go, socialism. So I love it, dude. I walk on. A officer lady, this like tough looking older Budapest woman walks up and she's like, your ticket. And I said, oh, I didn't see a turnstile or anything. I'm from America. I don't. She says, no, no, no. You need ticket. And I was like, oh, I'll just buy one from you now. She said, no, no, no. Too late. Like I, I got caught. And I was like, oh, that sucks. I, uh, she said, what's your passport? And I said, here you go. And she grabbed it. And I realized, like I saw a stop that was coming up and I was like, oh, I'm just going to bolt. Yeah. And I went to grab it and run. But she was so strong. <laughs> She'd been eating those meat and potatoes. It did not move from her hand. She's just used to that. And when she <laughs> felt me pull, she knew I was up to something. She had a, like another officer with her and she said, you cannot do that. And she got really mad. Oh, and I no. knew if I kept going, I was going to get like thrown into a Hungarian jail. And I'm like, that's not, that's not, this is not worth it. And I said, okay, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. How much is it? And she said, it's like 40 euro or something like that. And I said, I don't have any cash on me. And she said, we go, she said, we go to ATM. Wow. I got off the train with her, walked up to an ATM. She saw me put my card in, take the money out, handed it to her. Have a nice day. Rolled her eyes at you too, I bet. Of course, dude. Now she has your pin number and some guys. And then she left, you know what she said? She said, filthy Jew. And then it ran off. Crazy. Uh, What, what, do you know the Hungarian word for Jew? Jew. 
I think. It, is there? I, is there not a different? Type it in. Is it, I'm why Jewish. Would there, why would there be? I think Jew is like a. I was just curious. The, <laughs> that's what their race slash religion is called. What? Yeah, I mean, it's wait, a, is that is Jew Jew in every language? I think so. Jewish? Hungarian. Jew- <laughs> Jewish. Jewish. Or? Jewish. Yeah, the Jew. Jewish community. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I'm wrong. In Mexico, it's Zito. El Jew. Zito. Z S I D O. Zito. Zito, because that's how. I don't know how to pronounce that, but Zito. Yeah. Zito. I had no idea. Z- that yeah, they can't spell over there either. No, they have no idea. Well, so at least she didn't end up in a Budapest hotel, which would have been a jail. I don't think the Grand Budapest Hotel is in Budapest. That's like one of my favorite movies. I don't think it's actually. I almost in watched it last night because I haven't seen it since it came out. It's a weird movie, movie right? It's one of my favorite movies. Wes Anderson, yeah. Uh, have I you did, never seen it? I have, but uh, when it like first came out, probably my favorite movie. I, he also did the one where they're in the submarine, right? Yeah, yeah right. Life Aquatic. Life yeah, Aquatic. yeah, that yeah. one Very I remember. Good. I liked that one. I like Wes Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Wes Anderson. Boy. Um, he did. He is he. Uh, is that the guy that did uh, uh, Freddy Krueger? Do you think Wes Anderson filmed <laughs> Freddy Krueger? Wes man? Craven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to yeah. see. Wes Anderson, Wes Anderson presents <laughs> Freddy Nightmare on Elm Street. I want to see him remake Scream. That would be the original so cool. Scream. Is that Wes Craven new, too? Screw the new one. Freddy Krueger puts all of his knives in like perfect order. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> just like this is just a, for Wes Anderson fans at this point. Oh, we just start doing Wes great. Anderson. Wait, clips. so what other? Wait, I didn't get what. What other Wes Anderson movies are there? There's Grand Budapest. Grand Saturday. Budapest. Oh, Moonrise. Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah. Life yeah. Aquatic. Oh, Rush right. Rushmore. Uh, the one. Uh, Bottle Rocket. Bottle, and they all Bottle have, Rocket's the original one. He built, went to UT. Uh, the yeah, French yeah. Dispatch, yeah. Grand Budapest Hotel, uh, Moonrise Kingdom. Oh, I know that one. The Dar Le <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Always did you guys Carl know? Hotel, Life Aquatica, did you guys know that um, the Royal Tenenbaum, Wes Anderson, and Owen Wilson went to UT together, and they, uh, they made a short film called Bottle wow. Rocket and helped started their career, whatever, right? So they were doing. They were starting really cool shit at this? UT. Yeah, Owen Wilson oh, and Wes Anderson. School. Owen Wilson, you know yeah, Luke Wilson's yeah. brother. <laughs> yeah, you know Luke Wilson's brother. Um, but at the same time, like on I guess the other side of campus, Richard Linklater and Matthew McConaughey were friends and students and were making Dazed and Confused. Ah, isn't that crazy? Like two, yeah. like randomly, like two super big. Uh, dude, Dazed and Confused. That all those famous actors. That was all of their first movies. Like Ben yeah. Affleck, Mila Jovovich. Ben Affleck was in Dazed and Confused. Yeah, he yeah. was the he was the asshole. He was the yeah, jerk. Yeah, he was the. Yeah, he was he, the jerk that uh, was held back his senior year. Did he year. do like that? The paddle, the paddle did he do that before or after? Ben, uh, that was their all. Hunting. That was before. That was oh, all was like their first all movies. All first movies, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And then, I thought, I thought and then you, know you know what's funny? You know what's funny? The one guy, the stoner dude uh, in that movie, I forget his name, but he is now like had like a resurgence in his career. Like he was in Black Mass, he was in Hostiles. Really? He's been in a bunch of movies uh, as of late, uh, the last decade. Shit, I had no idea. Yeah, and he's like a mature, like old dude now. Whoa. And he's great. That's cool. Yeah, no and idea. he had like yeah, the... so many people in this movie. Oh, so yeah. They, yeah, well, list the actors. Oh, that dude. Oh, I forgot that guy was in it. Matthew McConaughey, Jason that London, guy, that's Parker the guy, um, Posey. Rory Cochran. That um, dude's doing a lot of shit. Now. Willie Giggins, Mila Jovovich, uh, Joey Lauren Adams. Mila Jovovich's uh, sister is a comedian in L.A. Sean Andrews. Oh, is she? No I've shit. Done, I've done mics with her. Really? Lulu Jovovich. Oh, is she hot? Yeah, she's she's good looking. Um, have you seen Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind? First, third kind. Uh, no. <laughs> Is it like a joke movie, the fourth no, kind? No, it's the one with Mila Jovovich. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Fourth is- kind. What is the fourth kind? Google. Is that like a Close Encounters of the Fourth is Kind? Is that like a sequel to Close Encounters? It's, so they, it's it's just that's just the title of it, but it's about no, Mila, I know it's Mila the title. Of- <laughs> no, 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 stop. Close Encounters of the Third Kind is a very famous movie with Richard Dreyfuss. Right, but this is second new, Richard Dreyfuss is, mention of yeah, this podcast. Yeah, wow. Very random. This is a, he was in Jaws too. Uh, Third. Now we're at three. Uh, but uh, it's called Close Encounters know, of the dude, Fourth Kind. Computer's and <laughs> oh yeah, it's spazzing. And uh, anyways, it's about Mila Jovovich is a therapist in Alaska in this town. Where, it's uh, just keep... called the fourth kind. I'm pretty oh, sure. Okay. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the first thing that comes up. I thought it was like a like a scary movie style comedy remake of <laughs> No, it's no, it's I've seen I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, movie's yeah. a trip, but yeah, it wasn't that it wasn't all that great. It's a cool it's a cool movie, but it's a cool movie. 
But, 2009 uh, fiction. Anyway, Shmila Jonovich is in it, and they splice in supposed footage from the real therapist. Uh-huh. It's really cool. Oh, okay. You should watch it. Check it out. Yeah. It's fourth kind. I got it. Not close in The counter. fourth kind. It's the fourth kind. The fourth kind. kind. Not uh, and then there's uh, that new one that came out. Close Encounters like, of the probably Fifth Probably like kind. Uh, eight or nine years ago. That one called uh, Dark Skies. That's a cool one. That's on Netflix, I think. I haven't seen that. Uh, it's got, uh, yeah, you'd recognize the cast. I don't remember her name. But anyways, that's a good movie too. Mm. About aliens. We love aliens. They come into their house and they make like uh, uh, statues and shit with their food. And then they come down the stairs and they're like... These are some fucking menacing aliens. They're like, yeah, they're just doing pranks. Mm. (laughs) They like stack their uh, cereal boxes all... uh, What's that word? Caparously. Uh, (laughs) Precarious. Precariously? Precariously. What do you think is, precariously means? No, 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 no. What do you think precariously means? Crooked. No. <laughs> what do you... Oh, you mean like... Precariously. Uh, not precariously. Oh, you know, it's per, uh, it's perpendicular. Perpendicular. No, 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 no. I mean precarious. Like something is precarious. How do you something it's is pre- weird. Something is precarious is it's, it's off, off. weird. Yeah, crooked. But that doesn't mean like physically crooked. Yeah, like a stack of papers could be precariously stacked. Precariously just means it's like weirdly stacked. That's what I'm saying. Precariously stacked cereal boxes. Look up Dark says, Skies. Says, It'll get over here. It says, <laughs> in a way that is not securely in position and is likely to fall or collapse. Oh, well, this was not falling. They did a good oh, job no. of it. I thought it was close. That, I mean, precarious? Is that precarious? Oh, hey, man. Well, wait. Well, you guys knew what I meant, though, and that's what's important. Yeah, I do. I mean, did we? Anyways, type in Dark Skies <laughs> and uh, Kitchen Scene. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone anyone watching when you watch it type in Dark Skies <laughs> Kitchen Pause the scene. podcast <laughs> yeah. you know just leave the podcast you know <laughs> what is Dark Skies uh, yeah. it's this new alien well not new it was like a decade ago and it's got a J.K. Simmons is you mean it. the opposite of new <laughs> you mean 10 years old are we gonna are we gonna be allowed to play this don't play it well mute it mute it and play it and then just we show can me. watch yeah show me I'm the guest. That, that's not it. Oh, I was about to turn it off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you have a dark skies porn? Is that what? Is no, there's just like two possibilities that exist. And we are alone in the universe. Hey, uh, have you guys ever been oh. at someone's house and there's like they're like having a party or whatever, and some guy puts on porn? Uh, that's no. never happened. That's never happened. That's weird, right? Very. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that a few times in my life. <laughs> Your parties. Not, not my parties. <laughs> if anybody's wondering, if anybody's wondering, I'm watching a trailer for the movie Dark Skies. No, don't upside show the trailer. No, it's don't the, show it's the, the trailer. It's the kitchen scene. Oh, the kitchen scene. Okay. Yeah, just mean, make sure none of this unplugs. This is the worst. I'm sorry, everybody. Here, we got to figure. We'll figure I'm out so a way sorry. to make it play on the TV. Kitchen terror. See, watch this. Look, look how. Look, see how they stack Riveting. everything. It's all precariously stacked. And who did that? Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens, it's so precarious. That's exactly the word I would have used. It's yes. precarious. See? Okay, very creepy. And then they're like, and then the cops come and they're like, oh, your son did this. And they're like, our son couldn't have done that. Because the kid like is like smoking weed and being a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. He obviously like, he did, he couldn't do that. You should do a movie review podcast. This, <laughs> this dumb fucking... Dumb bitch. This, then the dumb kid was like, I can't do that. I'm on weed. It's <laughs> yeah. Shows you how much weed I smoke. I just said, I'm on weed. <laughs> dude, I'm on that weed, man. Uh, dude, uh, I thought you smoked weed. So you don't smoke weed? A little. I started over quarantine and did it like maybe 10 times. And I haven't done it in like a year. Sounds like boring, <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Uh, hey, yeah, uh, speaking so of boring, you, so speaking before, of that. before we wrap it up, let me ask you some drug questions. Now, how's your sober, your sobriety going? Oh, dude. Are you sober? This won't be out in time, but yeah, so a quick recap. Today's Halloween, October mm. 31st, yeah. at midnight tonight, I'm getting fucking drunk. Oh, oh nice. You yeah. haven't drank in a month. No. How do you feel? Great. Uh, yeah, definitely don't you're keep gonna, doing that. <laughs> I thought you were strong, dude. Like our last conversation. Dude, like, dude I've been fucking lifting weights. I got a new tattoo. Check that is out. Is that new? I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got to get the, got to oh, get it. Next the episode. The whole thing is new? Next episode, it'll be colored in. That's amazing. This is all new, yeah. That, the, the, bumble, the bumblebees are like perfect. Right? right? I'm so stoked about it. And then I got, and they blended it in with the LSD uh, and the other whoa. honeycomb, right? Oh. Cool. That is very cool. Yeah. So have you ever took acid? 
I'll just look at your arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you done acid? No. Do you want to? No. Because I give everyone their first hit for free. I'm okay. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Well. I barely smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. So what kind of drugs have you ever done? Weed. That's it. Yeah. I got never cough so I guess I so I guess meth's out of the question. No, no, no. I've done a lot of meth. <laughs> I know a lot of imagine, meth. Imagine you met one guy who's like, I've never smoked weed. I've never been drunk. But, but I've done meth. I've done a lot of dope. Yeah, no, nothing. Done a lot uh, of I've meth. done oxy because, do- I mean, a doctor gave you, it to me yeah, and yeah. I was in pain. Right. Now, is this that all, was pretty cool. Is this all by choice? Or morphine did something, and morphine. Did something happen where you were do like... morphine. Did something happen in your life where you were like, I don't ever want to do drugs? No, I think I'm just anxious. But you're, you're not, I have like a fear of like control. That's yeah. kind of what it is. And like my so, parents so you just think kind of beat it into me. Wouldn't be for you. No, but that one I'm I'm like every day becoming very sl- slowly more accepting of like maybe eventually one day. But you should take not. like a capsule, a mushroom capsule. But what was that? I don't want it to like just to see what it felt like. See how you liked it. Make you feel I'd be, warm I'd and be fuzzy. so anxious taking it that it would put me in a bad place. Yeah, you think it'd send me to you? a bad place? Right. Then right? you need some Xanax. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> you, want, you want me to go to the bad place? Ah, you want to go to the bad place? Yeah, I mean that's how you work What's things the, out. Oh, so you do need out. to go to the bad place sometimes? Oh, dude, I, no, I've, that's, I've had some the bad fucking place is wild. Like the best. Yeah, you always you come out the, better on the end. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it for the most part, unless you jump off the building, you're like, oh fuck. The next day, you're like, epiphany. No. Mm. And your computer is freaking out. It keeps doing. Yeah, this you just have to keep exiting. Okay. I fucking I fucking meditate and stuff. That's my drug. Nice. I meditate thirty minutes a day. Every day. You're like those day. people that say they get high from running. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's so days. good. That's the best. I cr- you know what I do a lot? I cry all the time. Do you? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. All the just let it surprise you a little bit, but <laughs> <laughs> I cry literally <laughs> all the time. About what? Everything. It's amazing. Like, I had a whole anxiety. So you're like a thing. lady. I had a whole anxiety thing happen. <laughs> you're like a lady with your crying and such. <laughs> we can't have ladies on the podcast. Well, I didn't know this was a lady, lady, no lady show podcast. Actually, dude, that is right. We got to get a lady on here now that we're filming. <laughs> Shit, now yeah. we do. <laughs> <laughs> well now hey listen so we've had a Jew next thing we'll get a lady then yeah. we'll get a black no 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 you need to get a black that's what you need is a black <coughs> yeah dude I fucking cry no I've had I've had multiple people of color on the show sure you have just it wasn't filmed but they were on okay you didn't want to get them. You didn't want to get the evidence. There's 73 episodes before this that people can check out on all audio platforms where they can believe that there was a black person. Well, the flyer has a picture of them. Oh, okay. Miles has done it. Miles has done it. Yeah, a couple of comedians back in You're Boston. Getting real defensive. It's, it looks. Real, it's a real. I know. Bad I know black people. Okay? <laughs> it's a real bad look, dude. Yeah, dude. But uh, I'm none a, of them cry as big, much as me. Uh, that's for sure. I'm a minority supporter. Okay. So you like me. You're cool, I, I told you I'm fascinated. I'm, I'm one with of the, the I'm, I'm part of the smallest minority in the world. No, you not, guys control not a, everything. Yeah, but we're, there's not a lot of us at all. There's uh, seven million Jews in the entire world. That's about six point <laughs> nine too many. Nice. You just want a hundred thousand of us? Yeah. Sick. <laughs> I think there should be as many Jews <laughs> as there are, are as there are Jehovah's Witnesses. How many Jehovah's Witnesses are there? Well, only like thirty four thousand get into heaven. Why? That's, that's the terrible. rules. <laughs> other ones don't? Yeah. Why? That's the rules. That's a bad and plan. And they don't tell you who's in and who's not. So everyone's just like, oh, it must You're be. saying amongst Jehovah's Witnesses. Only like 34,000 get it. Is it because they're not good enough or something? Or is it like it's a because there's the not draw? enough room. I think that there's the, just not enough oh, room. Oh, so it's like a built-in competition. Uh, 8.7. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8.7 Jehovah's Witnesses. And then type in how many Jews in the world. That would be... It's crazy if there's... Let's get this answer before I say this. How many Jews in the world? Also, find out how many Jehovah's Witnesses are allowed into heaven. <laughs> that's the second part. Because there is a small that's, amount. That's, that's, yeah. No, I'm serious. That's I I, 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 I worked there? with a guy. 14.8 million Jews. Oh, that's a lot, dude. That's double that I, that I thought. Never hey, you guys are doing good. But that would be... But, but how many, like... <laughs> you really having, built back up. The fact that we only have 14 million... And like we still have such a like impact on culture, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and also you guys are very selective about who like you marry, and you only want to make other ones. Oh, uh, religious ones too. I, I'm not. I don't give a shit. Oh, you don't want to keep it the no. bloodline I don't going? Give a fuck. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not like looking. I've never dated a Jewish girl. 
Oh, good I for had you. sex with a Jewish girl at a party once. I don't think I've ever uh, had at sex bar with a, a Jewish girl either. Oh, re- oh wait. That was a joke. Pedophile oh. joke. <laughs> Blur it out. All right. <laughs> They say uh, um, only exactly uh, one hundred and forty-four thousand. Get it, that's I was uh, hundred thousand off. I that's said, what? but then what that's, is? How do they do it? Yeah, but that's how, what I'm. They dude, I asked how the guy. Do, how I said, did they determine who is that? He said to me, he didn't. Know, he said you don't know. He said, oh, it is kind of random. Yeah, he said, and it's and then I said, well, how do you know it's not full? Well, I assume it's up to God. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you know it's not full already? <laughs> they just let the first. The first, the first, the first hundred and forty, and the rest are like, and they're like, we're at capacity. Yeah, like, sorry, oh, shit. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got to tell them that. Only do you thing. think? Do you think Michael Jackson got it? Well, he was he a Jehovah's Witness? Yeah. Whoa. They, well, they, they, well, they need some really? music. Really? Yeah. They need music. The family, the Jackson Five, were Jehovah. T- type it in. They were Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, that's why they were so fucked up and weird. Yeah. He obviously like uh, denounced it at whatever point in his life. He didn't remain one. He denounced that so that he could. That's like kind of some of the craziness of his childhood. That, that's when he, he took on Catholicism because they were uh, raised by their mother. Yeah, Jehovah's Witness. Catherine, that bitch. <laughs> well, not worse than the dad. <laughs> The um, dad was way worse. He beat the what, shit out of What are the ones in you in Utah that don't drink coffee and they have Mormons? Some, Mormons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot more Mormons, I think. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Because you don't Mormons. that's something you can just say I'm a Mormon. You can do that with anything. Well, I can't say I'm a Jew. You like, can you can convert and be a Jew. You true, can convert. Like, yeah. and be I Mormon. still don't buy it. I think could, that yeah, the real, you could lie to anybody anytime you want. I think that the real Jewish people frown upon I can make you a Jew right now. Conversions. Let's do it. Don't I have to do the it's a, How does he know it? That's actually exactly it. You nailed it. Exactly. Hebrew. Hebrew. Do you guys know? Do you guys know the difference between Hebrew and Yiddish? Uh, Yiddish is slang, isn't it? Uh, it's not slang. It's a pidgin language of, of of multiple things: Hebrew, German, Slavic. Oh, can you so, speak it? No, my oh. parents can. My, really? my mom can. Could can my grandma can could. So like schmeckle. That's like that's Yiddish. Yiddish for penis. I think I think it's penis. Yeah. Pull his little schmackle out. Yeah, penis. Yeah, but dabba do. Your mom is now a Jew. <laughs> yeah, but just, just keep it going. <laughs> no, schmackle. Oy vey is uh, Oy vey. Yiddish. Yeah, stup is um, Yiddish. Give me my money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. That's. <laughs> Where's rent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they start speaking English when they want money. Uh, change, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's the gold? <laughs> What's up with the weather? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to call my cousin Jaime. Jaime? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a Jewish name? Jaime? Uh, yeah, yeah, I knew a guy named, his name was Mr. Lee Chaim. Yeah, Le Chaim. You know Chaim means? Mr. Chaim. You know hey, you know what I was thinking? That's not what, what if, it means. But okay. Hey, what if what it's that if, thing that girls have that that breaks when you hymen. lose their virginity? Hey, what if there was them? some guy who's like, just like trying to bring back words, and he's like, you know, I looked up what Sing Heil meant. Just means victory. He like teaches pee wee football. He's like, guys, let's get out there and get that Sing Heil. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, Heil Hitler, let's go. Yeah, yeah, and then you like you have to hey point everybody point to the scoreboard. Yeah, Sing Heil, everybody guys. Everybody point get to the scoreboard in the same place. <laughs> that would be sick. <laughs> That, you know what? Every time you see the scoreboard and we're, our, we're winning, I want you to point and yell. Sick uh, girl. I, I knew a comedian in Boston, very funny, uh, Alan Fitzgerald, about to film a special. Um, but uh, he would, had a joke where he would say, uh, my girlfriend got us kicked out of the Holocaust Museum because I kept going, well, what's that? What's that? Wait, say again, what? He said they got kicked out of the Holocaust Museum because he kept going, well, what's that over there? <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, that, yeah, they don't fuck around there. Yeah. No. Very sad, very sad place. Um, you guys want to get sad at the end of the podcast? Come on. Uh, yeah, I mean. Nick, you already seem really. sad. <laughs> you generally seem sad. Um, all right, so uh, we're probably, we're past like an hour, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Hour 20. Dude, dude. I, it's so funny. I didn't want it to all be Jew stuff. And it it was really did end up stuff. all being Jew stuff. <laughs> and I didn't expect Jewish. it coming in. I was like, oh, we'll talk about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to talk to me about my successful promotion. So where's your little hat? <laughs> where's that little hat you have? All right, so uh, 
uh, everybody would go around and do some plugs and uh, talk, promote uh, Broken Zoo, whatever you want. All right. Coming up next for Morgan Linewell. He's I had got to kick a, the voice on. He's got uh, his Broken Zoo show, the wildest comedy show in Austin, Texas. Uh, next show is November 4th at Aviator Nation Austin. Open bar sponsored by Tequila 512. And then the show after that is at the Vulcan Gas Company. With uh, who's going to be on it? Uh, Duncan Trussell's going to be on it. Derek oh, fuck Poston, yeah. Hell Hassan yeah. Hassan Ahmad. I think Jonathan Kite. That's going to be November 25th. Hey, it's Kite, not okay. I know, I know. And he is. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, he's a very nice guy. He is <laughs> very nice. Very nice guy. <laughs> he's very um, funny, too. Oh, yeah, that fucking Jew. Um, that's going to be November 25th. I think he's he's not confirmed. I'm, I'm thinking of asking him, so he doesn't even know that Cool. Part. But um, well, he's gonna 20th. know this podcast got big reach. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna see it. November 25th. Uh, that's Broken Zoo, the uh, wildest comedy show in Austin, and uh, that's about it. Cool. Well, so definitely the November 25th one will, will be. Uh, that'll be. Uh, this will be out before then. Uh, and then Nick, uh, follow Nick Corey uh, and Absurd Junk on Instagram, oh, yeah. and hit him up if you would like his services. And I'm at the Morgan Linewall for my personal, and at Broken Zoo for Broken Zoo show. Motherfucking Nicholas the Pack. Nice. <laughs> That's so cool. Is that your welcome song? <laughs> what is that? What the fuck was that? Don't worry about it. Is that at the end of yours? No, it's the oh. next one. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah, I'm on Instagram, Nick Fitzwell. Um, I, I will be in California at the Well Comedy Club in Bakersfield, California on the 26th. And that's all I got going on right now. Drinking coffee with Nick every Friday on YouTube at 8 a.m. Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. And uh, follow the podcast, please, uh, on Instagram, high noon underscore pod. And uh, my Instagram is Mason Smith Comedian. I will be at uh, Vulcan on November 6th and Alamo Draft House November 11th. So that'll be fun. And uh, big shout out to Bill Hicks over there staring at the wall. Being a good boy. And uh, Nick, thanks for filming. Nick, thanks for being the co host once again. Morgan, thank you for coming. Dude, thanks Thanks for guys for listening. Fun times, dude. Oh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, The High Noon Podcast. Very fun. Thanks, guys. We'll hire Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you next week on the Dusty Trail for more hijinks and fun.